This is Blake Lockhart with Video 2 NAS 295 Kinesiology Shoulder Girdle and the Shoulder Joint. Bony landmarks and muscles. Start with the scapula. We have the inferior angle, the superior angle, the vertebral border, axillary border, the chromion, and the vertebral spine. Greater tubercle crossing the bicipital groove, lesser tubercle, and the deltoid tuberosity of the humerus. Next we have the upper trapezius muscles with the origin at the occipital bone and the skull and the nuchal ligament of the upper cervical spinous processes with an insertion at the outer third of the clavicle and the AC process. An action would be scapular elevation scapular elevation. Next we have the lower trapezius. Their origin is in the spinous processes of the middle and lower vertebrae. And the insertion at the base of the scapular spine. And an action would be, right now we're in scapular elevation, and we would have scapular depression with the scapular rotating back down. Next we have the rhomboids. These muscles run in this direction, and they have an origin on the spinous processes of the cervical vertebrae of C7 through the T5 of the thoracic vertebrae. So cervical into the thoracic vertebrae with an insertion of the vertebral border of the scapula. <clears throat> now that would be between the spine and the inferior angle. And action would be scapular retraction Stretch our shoulders back. Okay. Next, we have uh, muscles uh, of the shoulder, the deltoid muscles. We have the anterior deltoid. Its origin is in the latter third of the clavicle. Here and an insertion at the deltoid tuberosity. An action would be shoulder horizontal adduction. So I'm going to take him up with abduction, and this will be the movement, the adduction, that downward movement. Uh, next would be the middle deltoid and it has a origin of the acromion process and an insertion with the deltoid tuberosity and a movement would be or action I mean would be shoulder AB abduction. Next we have the posterior deltoid its origin is at the spine of the scapula and it has an insertion at the deltoid tuberosity and an action of it would be shoulder extension. Turn our shoulder in. <clears throat> Next we have the supraspinatus. It has 
has a origin at the axillary border of the scapula. This side, this will be an anterior view of it, and an insertion at the greater tubercle of the humerus, and a action would be horizontal abduction, which would be coming into the body would be adduction away from the body would be abduction. So that'd be horizontal abduction. Next, we have the infraspinatus. Let you turn back around the other way. Its origin is in the at the infraspinatus fossa, which would be inferior to the supraspinatus. It has an insertion at the greater tubercle and a movement would be horizontal abduction. So we have adduction coming back out, abduction, so horizontal abduction. Next we have the Therese minor, which is inferior to the infraspinatus. It has a origin at the axillary border of the scapula and an insertion at the greater tubercle of the humerus and an action would be horizontal abduction. Next we have the uh, latissimus dorsi. It's a really big muscle. Uh, its origin is in the spinous processes of the thoracic vertebrae at T7 to the lumbar vertebrae at T5 and the posterior surface of the iliac crest, the sacrum of the pelvic region, and the lower three ribs. An insertion, the insertion is the medial floor of the bicipital groove of the humerus. So we have the bicipital groove and it's on the medial floor. And action would be shoulder extension. So there. This concludes my video. Thanks.